It's the first day of the spooky month, so I wanted to share one of the scariest things that happened to me. And there are a lot of scary things that have happened to me. So three, I think it was three, three years ago, I decided to get LASIK eye surgery. I had been wearing glasses all of my life, and it was always a constant problem for me. My family did not have a lot of money, and getting LASIK contacts or anything other than one pair of glasses for two or years maybe I mean, and yeah it, it would always seem far-fetched and out of the way for me to be able to get something like LASIK. I hated glasses so fucking much. They were the most disgusting fucking thing that ever sat on my face for that many years. I was constantly breaking my shit at all times. I couldn't lay down without skewing those bastards somewhere else. I couldn't look for them without asking for someone to look for them for me. I couldn't see fucking two inches in front of my face. It it was horrible. I was a very active kid and I'm still active now and not having that has been just the best thing that's ever happened to me, honestly. But going through that was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. The idea of lasers in my eyeballs is not a very fun idea. This is some next level bullshit to shoot lasers into my eyeballs and then somehow I can see. That is crazy. I heard a lot of horror stories about LASIK. There are some horrible things that can happen to you. You can get the wrong prescription for your eyeballs because you lied for some reason. The doctor himself could fuck up and calibrate things weird and suddenly you're just fucking blind which is the opposite of what we're going for here. You can get diseases from this. You have an open wound on your eyeball and that will attract bacteria if you get get it wet at all so i was super afraid of everything i'm gonna cut that out i'm not ready to talk about how afraid i was of it despite the allegations of lasik not being worth it i felt like it was so to take you step by step exactly how it happened i got a tax return and it was a significant amount of money more money than i had like ever really had at any point and i was thinking what was the most life-changing thing that I can get with this amount. And so I settled on LASIK and it was very difficult to get approved for that. I had to have my friend's credit score, I believe. It wasn't, I don't know, it was either my friend or my boyfriend. It was their credit score that helped me get approved for it. And then I fronted the money for it. And then I paid monthly for the services. So the first thing that happened for me whenever I went into the clinic to see if I could get LASIK is they assessed my eyeballs. They gave me some kind of eye drop that dilated my pupils and made it easier to see what was going on behind those soulless things. And apparently what they said was good. So we did another test for how well I could see after I came back. I got approved for the whole situation and got set up for the next week. For that entire week, I was, I was extremely nervous. I was very worried about the change that that would bring me. I was super super scared of losing my sight really for the most part. I wasn't really afraid of the burn at all. I wasn't afraid of the pain that would be involved. I was just afraid about the possibility of not being able to see anymore because I took it a step too far and ruined something that I had already. So I go back to the doctor's office and they check my eyes a second time and then I go into the waiting room and I watch a little YouTube video about what they're about to do to my face. It's pretty just I signed a million waivers and I go into the operation room and I'm extremely nervous so I feel like they thought I was a small child. So the first thing that they do is take off my glasses and that's like that's it that's the last time that I wore those goddamn glasses. They took it off my face and I was instantly blinded. There was a lot of bright lights any everywhere and they asked me to walk over to the chair in front of me and I'm like what dude I cannot fucking see that's the whole reason that I'm here. So I'm like reaching my hands out and the lady grabs me by the arm and moves me over to the chair. I get into the seat and the doctor explains the situation to me again. He goes over my prescription and like reminds me of what I'm getting into. And then they lay me back and the operation begins. The first thing that they want to do is hold my eyeball open. And it's the most arbitrary device I had ever fucking seen in my life. It had these, it had like four fucking hooks on it and they were all angled outward 
backwards and it went underneath my freaking eyeball on both sides here and just fucking held that shit as wide open as they fucking could. And as uncomfortable as that was, I let them do it. And so I'm laid back in the chair and I'm staring up at the ceiling and the hover is the gigantic device that is supposed to shoot the lasers into my eyeballs. He tells me he's about to turn the machine on and he tells me to hold my eyeballs very, very still for him. And they can tell when the, I'm moving my eyeballs because there's like the suction thing that's like sticking an inch or two out of my face. It's a big cylinder. So they can really see when that thing is shaking. And he turns the machine on and the first thing it does is cut a film over the top of my eyeball. And from my perspective, it's a light show and it's just huge and flashy. Weird sounds are happening. It's super frightening. I have no idea what's going on. They're just, I'm supposed to trust these guys. Everything is fine for a moment. I'm getting used to the environment and then I start to smell my burning flesh, my burning eyeballs. And that's when like my stomach does a little bit of a turn because I'm like, oh my fucking God, what am I doing right now? These guys are cutting my face open. The laser does its work and I'm just breathing in those fumes. My flap, my flap, the laser cuts a flap into my eyeball. And so like this little bit of, di not dead, but this bit of skin just flaps over my eyelid. And they do that for both of my eyes. And then they tell me to do the most crazy thing ever and fucking stand. I currently have cut open eyeballs, so I don't really feel like standing. But I do get up and they ask me to go over to a different table with a different machine that fires different lasers that you agreed to. And so I go, well, I kind of go over there, but I stumble over every fucking thing in the room. First, I'm like tripping over myself like a zombie as I get over to the goddamn table. I feel like they're just laughing about that situation in the back of their heads. Like maybe they thought that I really could see. Like I don't, I don't fucking know what they were thinking back there, but I felt like an idiot. So I get into the next chair. I look up again. I think this time I don't quite have, maybe I do still have those cylinders in my eyeballs. I don't quite remember, but I do remember looking up at some more lasers. These ones were green and red and these ones fired for a pretty long time. I felt a lot more of like a tingling sensation, but it really wasn't bad at all. Like I hardly felt a thing. It was just the smell that was getting to me. So they put my flaps back on after the machine is done burning more holes into my cornea. The guy comes over to me and he takes his little tool and just gently pulls it over my eye. And then he's got some eye drops for me to help soothe and, you know, sew that eye piece back on where it belongs. So I'm done with that whole situation. I get up from the chair. They give me a pair of sunglasses immediately and they say congratulations and basically just have a good day. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I don't think anything could have prepared me for the sensation I felt whenever I walked outside those doors. There was a lot of warning about the burning and how it would fucking be the worst thing ever and you should just sleep it off. And I'm I'm really good at handling pain. I feel like sometimes, I guess. It depends on the kind of pain. But I just, I was so ready. I was so ready to feel some pain and boy did it fucking give me some pain. It was like searing lava in my goddamn eyes. I couldn't get away from it at all. As soon as I walked out of the doors, the sunlight was just streaming straight through these sunglasses and th th it was like I didn't have anything fucking on. It hurt like a fucking bitch. I could not even walk out to my vehicle whenever I got done with this LASIK treatment. I just took a step out the door and I waved my hand out for Cam to come get me because I have, like, I cannot. That, that pain was absolutely something else. So we get into the vehicle and the first thing I do is grab a shirt and take the shirt that I'm wearing and put that over my face because that's the only thing that I can do to get away from this. I cannot rub my eyeballs. I cannot put water or eye drops in there right now. You are just not allowed to get away from this pain. So we drive home and the whole time I am rocking in my seat because it's just the worst pain that I had ever felt. I could be blind right now. I could have bad prescription on. I could have infection already. I don't fucking know. All I know is this hurts like the worst thing in the world. So we get home and the first thing we do is go into the bedroom and turn all of the fucking lights off in the world. If I could turn the sun off then I, I would have done that. But it seemed like my eyes were percepting every little bit of fucking light in anywhere in the room. Any tiny piece of blinking LED from the alarm clock, from the stove, from, from your little vape pen here. That shit was burning my fucking 
corneas and I could not get away from it. So I'm just curled up in a fetal position in my bed, just rocking back and forth, wishing I would fucking die. But somehow, unimaginably, I got to sleep. I think there was some brown noise playing for me or something to help soothe that because I, I just couldn't. So when I woke up, I felt okay. It was not pleasant, but it didn't hurt like it did yesterday. I was feeling pretty confident there I had taken that little nappy nap. The first thing I want to do when I wake up is to test my new vision. So I grab my new sunglasses because I can't look outside or look inside for a week without these sunglasses on. I go to the balcony window and I'm looking up out at the street and the cars and I'm starting to read license plates across the way. I can see the leaves in the trees swaying back and forth. I can finally see the world around me with my actual eyes. And then that was the best thing that has ever happened to me personally. So far, so far, life has a lot of wonders, Ed Boy. But yeah, from that moment on, I could see. For a week while I was at work, and I went to work the very next day, by the way, it was, it was easy. I mean, it was different, but it was easy. Easy. And for that week, I was kind of getting some weird looks from my co-workers who didn't know that I had just gotten LASIK. Or maybe some of them didn't believe me at all because I was talking about it for like a week and then just suddenly went go do it. But for that whole week, it was kind of the same as wearing glasses because I still had to wear those sunglasses on my face. They didn't fall off quite as easy, but they were extra uncomfortable because they, they don't have frames or anything. They're just like these rolly things that go on your face. Well, when I could find oh I did want to mention some silly thing I was taking a shower with goggles on for like three days because I didn't want to get my eyes wet after that week was over I was able to see the world in true color finally one of my favorite hobbies now is just seeing how far I can look and still recognize things especially words or pictures of things that I could recognize before I was finally done with the slipping down your nose the foggy up the getting smudged the falling off the breaking the using popping frames and putting them inside reading glasses six hundred dollar new pairs of glasses i was done it's all fucking gone it's over i don't have to do that anymore i can't express to you how scary that situation was for me but i'm very happy that it all worked out and if anybody is looking at getting lasik at all if you have really bad vision i think that it's worth a shot from a trusted source from a trusted doctor if you can really see while driving like you're not legally blind like i was maybe think twice about it maybe just a little bit like if you're not super active maybe just think twice about it maybe contacts would be a better situation for you but for me best decision of my life